All right, I am in uh, central Washington, the town of Wenatchee is just down there to the right in the valley. Uh, I'm here at a field geology conference, way out of my element. Um, I know virtually nothing about uh, the geology of this area, but that's what these field conferences are for, is it gives you a chance to get exposed to some different geology. Sometimes you even can contribute things you know or things you've seen from the areas you're familiar with. Uh, that might be helpful to the researchers and the people uh, that are looking at it. It is late July, um, and yesterday I think it was over 110 degrees. It's already pretty hot. So I'm going to keep this pretty short. Uh, the crew, rest of the field trip folks are heading down the trail back to the cars. And this was our one of our last stops here. So real quick, the, the geology here is we're looking at these things called the Wenatchee Pinnacles. We have uh, this is saddle rock over here. Um, there's some craggy rocks across the way. Uh, and this one here is, um, shoot, the one down below is Wenatchee Dome. This one, oh boy, the name escapes me. I'll put it in the notes. But anyway, there's a series of these uh, volcanic, presumably intrusions or, or extrusions, maybe shallow intrusions that sort of run uh, to the northwest. So this one over here, uh, this kind of pink looking, with some of the fire retardant that got sprayed on it. Kind of lines up with this one over here. There is a dacite dike, a volcanic dike, that kind of trends down, down this ridge right here. In the background out here, the whitish rocks are some younger uh, sedimentary units that we didn't actually, uh, a little too far away for us to hike to. But let's, let's focus on some of the things in front of us here. Uh, I thought this was a pretty, pretty neat little stop that we kind of ended up at. And so what we have here is a volcanic breccia. So let's see if we can find a sample here. Let's see if the lighting's gonna help us out here. But you can see some of these, these big white chunks of rock in here. There's some crystals as well um, in this stuff. This is mostly rhyolite but it also has these, these chunks of rock in it. So there's many ways that volcanic breccias can form. You might think of an explosive eruption that fragments the rock, um, but the story we were relayed here, which is just a hypothesis, is that this little outcropping area represents a, a hydrothermal breccia. So maybe as hot fluids are coming up through the volcanic rock closer to the surface, gases are being released, it's expanding, and that's providing the energy and pressure to fragment the rock. Um, and it kind of made sense to me. It seems like a viable interpretation. If you move away from that little zone where we see the, the breccia and come down into these rocks here, they're incredibly hard. Uh, and so that makes sense if you have these hot volcanic fluids um, with a lot of silica, which makes the rocks very hard. Here you can see a nice, nice exposure here. The sun's not too bright. If you can't see that, I apologize. But um, of some of those rocks there, lots of quartz crystals in the rhyolite. Um, and then this grades into, that piece I just showed you was a broken fragment, but it grades into um, some rhyolite that has some flow foliation, some banding in it. So as this thick toothpaste-like magma was working its way towards the surface you can actually see some of the, the flow lines there in this very viscous material and then at the downhill end here what we have is a, a conglomerate so here's here's some of the rhyolite i'm standing on here and then this is the rock that it intruded was this cobble rich conglomerate um, with these big rounded clasps in it here and it's hard to tell which way this is oriented but some of these rocks here are pretty big um approaching i guess basketball size i think if we get down this way we'll see some bigger ones uh, you can see them all weathering out of the slope here but up here in the shade on the back side of the outcrop are some really big cobbles uh, cemented together. And again, uh, the other conglomerates we've seen in this area have been kind of loose and crumbly. Some of the ones back down along the trail are just kind of uh, not well consolidated, but 
these in here are really held together well, presumably by this hot silica rich fluid, which was moving through the pore space of the conglomerate and cementing it together much better. Another, another big clasp right down in here. So again, the nice contact here between the conglomerate and this rhyolite slash breccia that's been silicified just completely um, welded by the hot silica rich fluid that sort of impregnated the rock and moved through the pore spaces. So I'm gonna head down the trails so we can catch up to the group. Uh, the Wenatchee Pinnacles on the uh, south and west sides of the Wenatchee Valley. If you can see the peak way out there in the distance, that's Glacier Peak, part of the Cascades. Uh, their view to the west. Our view to the south, some of the apple orchards in the valley and up on the plateau there. So super hot one today. Um, hope you're enjoying the videos. Remember, you can always uh, send me some support for these if you'd like to. Those who've already done that, appreciate it. There's a PayPal link under the description and a Venmo um, uh, address as well. If you want to send uh, some travel funds my way, that'd be great. But hope you're enjoying these and I want a cold drink. So have a great day.